An outbreak anywhere is a threat everywhere. There are no borders between these diseases. Something that happens in Sub-Saharan Africa can come to the United Kingdom, it can come to the United States. My name is Dan Bausch. I direct the UK Public Health Rapid Support Team. The number one objective is for us to respond to outbreaks of infectious diseases in low and middle income countries. And when an outbreak happens, you can push a team out into the field within 48 hours. Since April 2017, we've deployed 11 times to seven different countries. It's absolutely essential that we get people out as quickly as possible. The diseases in question have the capacity to spread rapidly, so we need to be there quickly to help to stop that spread and prevent further transmission. We've deployed to cholera in various places, plague in Madagascar, various Ebola outbreaks in Democratic Republic of the Congo, loss of fever in Nigeria, diphtheria outbreak in Bangladesh last year. Surveillance means being a detective. People live in cities, people go to healthcare facilities, people take a taxi, people go to a restaurant. So they could potentially have been to many different places before being notified and detected while they were unwell. And so it takes detective work to actually go back, trying to identify all those places, identify those contacts and, and being able to follow them up. In Sierra Leone in 2017, there was a massive mudslide. The RST were called in to support surveillance operations because we were concerned that there might be a cholera outbreak. And we effectively put in a new laboratory in their primary hospital, providing cholera, salmonella, so dysentery, disease diagnostics. We're not a team that flies in and thinks we have all the solutions and then flies out. We support national governments, we support the World Health Organization and others in fighting outbreaks. Our ultimate goal is to work ourselves out of a job. People ask me, why should the UK worry about what happens in Sub-Saharan Africa? Why is it our problem that Democratic Republic of the Congo has an Ebola outbreak? I use the example, you know, if you come out of your house today and look down the block and see that there's a fire, it's probably not the best strategic move for you to just sit at your doorstep with a bucket of water, right? The logical thing for you to do is go down the block, put out the fire at its source, and that is what saves your house.